Hello, everyone. This is uh, a question which has been asked in the AKTU examination 2016-17. And uh, we are given an epsilon NFA and we have to convert this to the DFA. So for the conversion of the epsilon NFA to the DFA, we will first have to convert this to NFA. So I hope you must have seen my previous lectures wherein I have uh, converted the given epsilon NFA to the NFA. We will follow the same practice for uh, this question also. So for conversion of this, I will have to first find out the epsilon closer and then the transition with the input alphabet. And then finally, we'll compute the epsilon closer again. Similarly, if I have to show the transitions with the symbol B, so first we will find out the epsilon closer, then B, and then I'll show the epsilon closer again. So I'm taking the first state, which is the Q0, and we will have to find out the states to which I can lead to by taking the symbol epsilon only. So Q0 on getting a symbol epsilon will only remain at the state Q0. There is no other state it can move to. Now Q0 on A will move to Q1 state. And you can see that with the Q1, by getting the epsilon symbol, if you are computing the epsilon closer of Q1, so you can move to Q1, obviously, and you can move to Q2 also. Okay, so this is, uh, uh, let, let me re-explain this, what I have done here. So with Q0, the epsilon closer is Q0 only because you can move to only Q0 by taking the symbol epsilon. Now the transition of Q0 to Q uh, on A moves to Q1 state. If I take the epsilon closer of Q1, that is Q1 and Q2 because uh, Q1 will remain at this state only, Q1 on getting an epsilon. And Q1 moves to Q2 also by getting the symbol epsilon. So the epsilon closer of Q1 will be Q1 and Q2. Similarly, epsilon closer of Q0 will be Q0. On getting a symbol B, it moves to Q2 state. And the epsilon closer of Q2 will be Q2 only. So we have seen the transitions with Q0. And let's move to Q1. So epsilon closer of Q1 is Q1 and Q2. We already have computed this here. And uh, Q1 on getting a symbol A is undefined, but uh, Q1, uh, Q2 on getting a symbol A is defined and it moves to state Q0 and Q1 both. You can see that Q2 goes to Q0 state and Q2 goes to Q1 also on getting a symbol A. Now, uh, epsilon closer of Q0 is Q0. Epsilon closer of Q1 is Q1 and Q2 that we already know. So on getting a symbol small a, Q1 moves to Q0, Q1 and Q2, all the states. Now let's compute for the transition with the symbol B. So Q1 on getting, sorry, Q1 on getting only epsilon means the epsilon closer of uh, Q1 is Q1 only. Q1 on getting a symbol B is undefined, hence the Epsilon closer of Q1 will also be undefined. So it will not be defined for symbol B. So it is complete. Let's compute it for Q2. Now Q2, the epsilon closer of Q2 means what are all the states it can move to only by getting the symbol epsilon. So it moves to Q2 only. So Q2 on getting a symbol A moves to state Q0 and Q1, we already have computed that. So Q1, epsilon closer of Q0 will be Q0. And epsilon closer of Q1 is Q1 and Q2, we already have defined that. So Q2 on getting a symbol small a moves to Q0, Q1 and Q2 state. Now the epsilon closer of Q2 is Q2 on getting a symbol B. In Q2, I think it is not defined. So let's take it as phi and the epsilon closer of phi will be phi. So what is the NFA table for this? Let's draw the NFA table. So here A, sorry, not A, but state Q0, which is the start state also, and then Q1 and 
Q3. We have to define the transition with A and transition with B. So Q0 on getting a symbol A moves to Q1 and Q2 state. So this is by this table. Similarly, Q0 on getting a B moves to Q2. Q1 on getting a symbol small a moves to Q0, Q1 and Q2. We are taking the union of all these states here and it is undefined for B. Q2 on getting as A moves to Q0, Q1 and Q2 by taking the union of all these and Q2 on small b is undefined. So this is the transition table for the NFA. Now, since we have to draw the DFA for this, so for finding out the DFA, let's make the DFA. This is for the NFA, so transition table for NFA. And now we are going to draw the transition table for DFA. So the first state, which is there is Q0, which is this initial state. Yes, one thing more we can do. We have to define the final state. So here you can see that uh, Q2 is a final state, obviously. And Q1 is the state in which you can reach to the final state by only taking the epsilon. So Q1 will also be the final state. But I cannot reach to the final state by Q0. So Q0 will remain the non-final state. So here it is done. So let's make the DFA transition table using the NFA transition table. So Q0 is a state. And on getting a small a, it moves to Q1, Q2. So let's make the new state which is named as q12 and then uh, q0 on getting a symbol small b moves to q2 state so the two new states that we found here is q12 and q2 so i'm defining the transition with q12 now q12 state on getting a small a so i will have to see the transition from Q1 and Q2 both. So you can see that it moves to Q1, Q, Q0, Q1, Q2. It also moves to Q0, Q1, Q2. If I take the union of these two, I'll get Q0, Q1, and Q2. So I'm, for short, I am writing this. This as Q012. So the name of the new state is Q012. Now Q12 on symbol B. This is undefined. So undefined will be replaced with the symbol D or the state D, which is a dead state. So the new state that we have found in this is Q12, sorry, Q012 and a dead state D. Now Q2. So Q2 on getting a A moves to Q0, Q1 and Q2. So I'm writing here as Q0, 1 and 2. And Q2 on small b is undefined. So I'll move it to dead state D. Now Q012 on getting a symbol A. So it will move to this state, this state, and this state. If you will take the union of all these, you will get Q012. So Q0, Q1, Q2. In short, I'm writing it as Q012. And then Q012 on getting a symbol small b. It, I'll see the transition with Q0, which take, uh, takes us to Q2 with phi, uh, with Q1, it takes us to 5. With Q2, it takes us to 5. So the union of all these things will be Q2. Now, we know that the transition of that state with any of the symbol A and B will be to the dead state only. So hence, this is the transition table for the DFA. Now we will draw the final DFA. And one thing more, let's define what is the final states in this. In the NFA, we have seen that the, trans the final states were Q1 and Q2. So any of those states which is containing Q1 and Q2 will be the final state. So here Q12 is the final state, Q2 is the final state, and Q012 will also be the final state. So let's draw the DFA. So Q0 on getting a symbol is small a moves to Q12. Q0 on getting a symbol small b moves to state q2 so q12 is a final state and q2 is also the final state now q12 on getting a symbol small a moves to a state 
Q0, 1, and 2. And this is the final state also. So let's define it as a final state. Okay. Okay, so on A, it was defined. And then let's see the movement of Q12 on getting a symbol. Small v, it leads to leads us to the state D, which is the data state. Now, Q2 on getting a small a moves to Q12. Sorry, it moves to Q012. And then Q2 on getting a symbol B leads up to D or the data state. Q012 on symbol A remains at itself. And Q12 on getting a symbol small b leads us to state Q2. The dead state on getting a symbol A and B remains at itself. So these, this is the final DFA for the given epsilon NFA. So thanks for watching. We will take another question asked in the AKTU examination in the next video.